hello, this is Jimmy. Who's this? Jimmy, this is Senator Chuck Schumer of the great state of New York. Oh, hey there, Senator Schumer. How you doing? Jimmy, I am doing very well. Thank you for asking. I'm feeling very satisfied at the moment. Self-satisfied, for sure. But also, in addition, just plain old regular satisfied as well. Whence all the satisfaction, Senator? I'll tell you whence the satisfaction, Mr. Mann. The Senate Democrats have finally reached a power-sharing agreement with the Senate Republicans. Now we can finally take control of the Senate committees that have been ours in name since we achieved a majority uh, status many weeks ago. That's great. What took so long, Chuck? Well, there were holdups. You know, there were negotiations that needed to be had, uh, things the Republicans were dissatisfied with or not necessarily uh, uh, amenable to. And we have to respect our colleagues across the aisle who we're going to be working with, you know, in the future. You've had the majority for weeks now, like you said. Don't you have any leverage in this situation, at least to move the process along faster than this? Well, they did now look, we don't want to put undue pressure on our Republican friends or make a misstep and inadvertently do something unfair to them. That would be horrible if that were to happen. I'd feel just terrible about it. Do you honestly feel that the Senate Republicans have earned this good faith bargaining position? I mean, after everything they've done and after every sneaky, slimy trick Mitch McConnell has pulled? Jimmy, on January 6th, when the members of the Senate and House of Representatives had to hide and then flee the congressional building to avoid being attacked, and God knows what else, by a violent insurrection. There were no Democrats. There were no Republicans. There were only human beings, frightened yet determined, and working together to save themselves from the grave peril we were put in by the actions and words of congressional and Senate Republicans. I see. So it seems to me, bearing that in mind, the very least we could do would be to placate our GOP brothers and sisters so they don't try to have us fucking murdered again. Uh, right. Could you elaborate a little bit on these hold up negotiate hold ups and negotiations that you alluded to? Sure, of course. That wouldn't be embarrassing for me at all. <laughs> well, one of the things that I alluded to, it had to do with the filibuster, of course. Of course. Of course. So the Republicans wanted us to promise in writing that we wouldn't try to blow up the filibuster. And we weren't having that at all. No, sirree, Bob. No? No way, Jose. Not on my watch. You're not going to come in here and push old Chucky the Shoom around like that. We won this election, Buster Brown. Right. So we had Joe Manchin and, and Kristen Sinema go and tell Mitch McConnell that they would never vote for it, which was essentially the same thing. I see. But we signed no papers. Very admirable, Chuck. Thank you, kind sir. Also, Merritt Garland was a bit of a sticking point. Uh, you see Senate Judiciary uh, Chairman Lindsey Graham reject. I- isn't Dick Durbin the chairman now? Well, yes, but just a few days ago he took his seat. Lindsey just left. I feel disrespectful not you know, calling him the chairman anymore. Anyway, Chairman Graham rejected a request to vote on Merrick Garland for attorney general next Monday because that's when the second impeachment trial is starting. So now that Durbin is seated, that that has been... So now that Durbin is seated, that has been reversed and Garland will be voted on? Uh, No, it will remain as as it was. But that's how we made this deal, see? Uh, uh uh-uh. We showed them. Oh, yeah, you sure did. We showed them.
you're dead. And now we can finally look ahead to moving forward with President Biden's and woman of color Vice President Kamala Harris's bold legislative vision for the future, assuming congressional Republicans more or less approve of what is being put forward. Mm -hmm. We're not trying to ruffle any feathers here. Uh, Don't worry, Chuck. I'm sure the Biden agenda will be, by and large, rather palatable to the Republicans. Well, we'll just have to leave that up to the Republicans themselves. I can't speak for them. But I will be the bridge between them and President Biden to let the president know what he can expect to get approval from the Republicans on. How nice of you to do that for them. No, I'm just doing my job, Jimmy. Mm -hmm. Oh, I I have to go. Sorry. Lindsey Graham and Chuck Grassley are having their weekly Chicken Fingers Tuesday dinner tonight. I have to get to the cafeteria too sweet to plank across two chairs so they can eat off my back. Oh, it's going to be an isometric workout for the shoom. Plank. I haven't heard a planking reference in quite a while. Yeah, well, I'm bringing back the... The old. plank. I got it. Hey, everybody. This is the part where I tell you where all our live shows are. But there aren't any. And then this is why I tell you we join our premium program and get extra content. But nobody's got a fucking job. So just enjoy the video.